Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, somebody asked me in Windows 10, um, he's got some high CPU usage. And he was wondering if there's a way to kind of check out what exactly is using all of that power from his PC. Uh, he says that when it's idle, when it's not really doing anything, he still hears the fan going fast because the computer seems to be doing something. Now, it's normal for a PC from time to time to be doing things, doing tasks in the background that do take CPU cycles um, because depending on what you do and sometimes some of the Windows processes will actually be working when you are actually doing nothing so that to prevent the fact that it will slow down your computer. Now, when you are, if you want to see what your CPU is doing, and try to do the detective work behind how all of this is done, what's actually using the CPU. First of all, you can right click on the taskbar and go into the task manager. The task manager in the performance tab will tell you in the CPU section, what's using how much CPU cycles or how much CPU percentage are you using. And depending on how high that is, then you can go and check out what it could be. Now it will show you a graph that is a continuous live graphic of how much utilization you have of your CPU. I have right now roughly between 15 and 20 percent use. This is an older Core i5 and I'm doing a screen recording. It's normal that it's actually you know use a certain percentage that's kind of normal. Now Keep in mind that CPU usage will be higher the older the PC is in general. Why? Because a lot of processes that might on a brand new PC take 3 or 4% CPU, on an old PC which has a much less powerful computer processor, that 3% could be 25%. It all depends on what is be using all the CPU cycles. Now let's say that you have a really high CPU cycle that's in the you know 60, 70, 80 percent range. How do you find what's actually using it? Well, you can go into the processes tab. In the processes tab, you can click on CPU, and when you click there, you'll see there's a arrow. It points up or it points down. When it points down, that means the highest usage for the CPU will be the first program or the first. Uh, process that is using it. So in my case, you see that there are different apps using the CPU cycles. For example, we just have Microsoft Edge pop up temporarily, bump up to 30%, but then back down, probably checking for an update, for example. OBS Studio, my screen recorder is taking about 13%. So in my case, nothing abnormal, but if you have one that's telling you, oh, that's using 50% cycle or, or whatever, try to find out what it is. So in the case of software that's already installed on your PC, it might actually be easy to know that, oh, look at that, that program is taking so much CPU cycles. And then you can decide what you do, uninstall it, or if you need it, maybe try to mitigate how it uses the computer when you're not using it. Sometimes it could be a a process, a Windows process. So for example, desktop Windows Manager, an example here. You can't stop all the processes. Some of them are needed. But what you could do is try to find out, well, I've got a high usage from that. What does it mean? What is it? And what could I do? So that you can check it out. Sometimes some have arrows in front of them. So when you do have an arrow for that, for like an example, I got the task manager here. You can actually open that uh, little uh, process. Now, in this case, there's only one, but sometimes you'll see a list of different processes uh, and see what you can do. Google yourself into, okay, I've got a high usage of CPU from this process or this software. What can I do? You'll often find some answers online as to what you can do. When it's a known software, like I said, you can actually... You know, maybe uninstall it, you can stop it. You can, of course, go and see if in the startup items, if by any chance maybe it's there and you don't want it to start, then what you're going to do is you're going to actually stop it. But in cases where 
it's not there, you don't seem to really know what it is, then you can Google it and see what happens. You're not going to be the only one with that problem most of the time. It's Google is going to bring you up with a lot of people complaining about high CPU usage and what it means, maybe what you know you could do to try to help. But remember, there are some older machines where the CPU usage is going to be high, and there's not that much you're going to be able to do about it. Uh, a computer does age, and you know sometimes the operating system that goes with it will uh, add things that need CPU cycles or change things that will make higher uh, CPU cycle resources used. But uh, you can check that out like that and um, try to find by doing a little detective work what it could be that's using all that CPU um, cycle and that CPU uh, power. If you're, you're like my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.